Hi, welcome to Life After Mental Illness. I'm Bill McPhee and there is life after mental illness. In today's um, vlog, I'm talking about positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Basically, what are positive symptoms? What are they? And why are they called positive symptoms? Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about negative symptoms. Negative symptoms are also known as deficit symptoms, and we're going to talk a little bit about negative symptoms as well. So thanks for being here. Remember that recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anyone else other than who you are today. And there is life after mental illness. Have a great day. Hey, hi everybody. Uh, today I'm talking about positive symptoms of schizophrenia. And uh, you probably notice that with schizophrenia you have what's known as positive and negative symptoms and what that basically means I know that a lot of people they think that positive sounds good and negative sound bad but basically this is what it means with positive symptoms you have things symptoms that are added to your personality that shouldn't be there for example, if you hear voices, if you're paranoid, if you have delusions, if you have illusions, if you hallucinate, if you have a sense of uh, your senses become heightened, your sense of smell, your sense of um, hearing is more acute. We see uh, reflections in light that, uh, that uh, disturb us. These things are part of positive symptoms because they're not there in a normal person and therefore they're called positive symptoms that are added to your personality. Now the reason for these positive symptoms are basically because of a chemical imbalance. Um, when the chemicals get in balance, unbalanced, certain chemicals they tell us, such as dopamine and serotonin and different chemicals like that, then messages between the synapses and the, 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 the receptors in the brain, messages get all confused. Now, what happens is that when we're in confused or in a psychosis, these are the things, the chemical imbalance, which create those positive symptoms. Now, medication is very good at, um, at controlling positive symptoms. The paranoia, the, uh, you know, the delusions, the hallucinations, the, the heightened senses. I would say that in my experience from over the years of talking to people and reading about things, is that one of the most positive symptoms that is hard to get rid of out of them all are voices. A lot of times people have um, a hard time getting rid of voices. Um, but that's what the medication is supposed to do. It's supposed to correct your imbalance to stop the paranoia, stop the voices, stop the hallucinations, stop the delusions and then our positive symptoms are under control and then a lot of times we're dealing with negative symptoms and I'll talk about negative symptoms tomorrow bye for now have a great bye. day thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and also be able to uh, send me your questions at Bill at Bill McPhee Dot ca. As well, for more information, go to BillMcPhee.RecoveryExpert.com. Links will be in the description below. Come back for another vlog tomorrow. And remember, recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And there is life after mental illness. Have a great day.